Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the radius of curvature at the given point on the given curve. We can take the curve and differentiate. So, x power 2 by 3 is 2 by 3 x power 2 by 3 minus 1 plus y power 2 by 3 is 2 by 3 y power 2 by 3 minus 1 and differentiation of y is dy by dx and the other side the constant differentiation is 0. So, we have used the differentiation of x power n is n x power n minus 1. Now, this is 2 by 3 x power 2 by 3 minus 1 after taking LCM it is minus 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 y power minus 1 by 3 into dy by dx equal to 0. Let us take this term to the other side. So, we get 2 by 3 y power minus 1 by 3 into dy by dx is equal to minus 2 by 3 x power minus 1 by 3. Now, we can cancel 2 by 3 on both the sides and from here dy by dx is x power minus 1 by 3 by y power minus 1 by 3. We have taken this term to the other side. Now, when I carry this to the numerator, the power will become positive. Again, when I carry the negative term, negative power to the denominator, this will become positive. So, we are going to rewrite this. That is dy by dx as y power 1 by 3 by x power 1 by 3 and they have given a point which is a cos cube theta. So, let us take at a cos cube theta a sin cube theta. So, when I substitute for y it is a sin cube theta whole power 1 by 3. So, I have to take a power 1 by 3 for this and for this separately in the same way this is a cos cube theta and I have to take power 1 by 3 for this and power 1 by 3 for this. Anyway a power 1 by 3 can cancel these two gets cancelled these two gets cancelled. So, we have sin theta by cos theta which is tan theta. Now, it is differentiation for the second time d square y by dx square tan theta differentiation is secant square theta into again its differentiation is d theta by dx because we differentiate with respect to x. But from this we have this point as x this point as y. So, x is a cos cube theta, right? So, let us work out here. x is equal to a cos cube theta. From this, dx by d theta is a into 3 cos square theta into cos in a different position is minus sin theta. And I have to take its reciprocal and substitute here because it is d theta by dx. So, coming to this, the second square theta is written as it is into 1 by a into 3 into cos square theta into minus sin theta. I keep the minus here and sin theta here. So, finally, this is this can be written as 1 by cos square theta and there is a minus sign and we also have 3 and we have a cos square theta into sin theta. Combining together minus 1 by 3a cos power 4 theta into sin theta. So, finally we are going to write the radius of curvature formula which is 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole power 
3 by 2 whole division d square y by dx square. So this will be 1 plus dy by dx we got as tan but here it is dy by dx whole square. So tan square theta whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by minus 1 by 3a cos power 4 theta into sin theta. Now this will be 1 plus tan square theta will be secant square theta by trigonometric identity. So secant square theta whole power 3 by 2 whenever there is a minus sign we take its magnitude because we take the positive because the radius of curvature is positive quantity. So we take modulus and make it as positive. So it is 1 and this denominator will be taken here as a product to the numerator which is 3a cos power 4 theta into sin theta. We can cancel these two and secant cube theta can be written as 1 by cos cube theta and this is 3a cos power 4 theta into sin theta. We can cancel cos cube and this. So finally we have the radius of curvature rho is 3a sin theta into cos theta. So this is the required radius of curvature for the given curve at the given point.